it's a nippy old day and I've got a little bit of a cruise in mind. I'm currently still at Ainho and I want to head up towards Banbury, although I'm not expecting to get all the way there today. I'll probably just stop at a convenient point where I see a nice bit of Arnco and as I've got plenty of supplies I'll be able to get on and uh, do a few jobs on the boat. So that's the plan and as usual let's see where I end up. Let's not forget the chains this week. I'm underway once again. Luckily, this bridge is behaving itself. Well, these are the kind of days you just wouldn't see if you're a hire boatist or if you're in a marina all winter long. I mean, yeah, it's cold today, it's a bit breezy, um, but it's lovely. There's not many boats about. I've just seen one other boat go past, actually. Obviously taking advantage of the short window in the weather, just like I am but um, it's lovely, it's not gonna rain even. Can you believe it? Well, we'll see about that. Oh, that was unfortunate. There was a boat just uh, getting ready to come out of the lock that I'm about to go into, so I sort of slowed down and waited for them. I thought I could just slide in without having to come onto the landing stage but uh, they took so long and what with the wind and that I had to sort of come into the landing stage so now I'm going to push the boat back off and uh, go in in the usual manner but uh, it's set in my favour anyway so that's good. I've just remembered I've got a little thing to take a look at. just realised I've got this thing to try I'm just going to slip it over the mic and uh, see if it helps with the wind noise. Oh, not sure if it's supposed to take it put the old sponge on first, but uh, I tried it. I tried it indoors already, so let's see how we get on. Right, I can see a problem with that straight away. Yeah, might work. Boat in lock. Just need to close the gate. Luckily, conditions are normal today. It's another one of those odd, wide shaped locks. Well, that's something that you need to check for. A lot of gates have a nice board to stop the uh, button fender on the front of the boat from uh, getting caught up. And this one does have a bit of a board right in the very middle uh, but because this is such a funny shaped lock with sort of widened sides it's uh, very easy to end up like that but that's okay because I've checked for that specifically I've come to have a look and make sure the bow of the boat was okay before I let any water into the lock so I'll just uh, pull the boat back a little bit with the center line and keep my eye on that as I feel but um, if you didn't you know, if you didn't notice that, then uh, that would really get caught under there and uh, it'd give you problems as the boat rises in the lock. It's not a very deep lock, having said that. A foot, maybe 18 inches, but uh, still enough to give you problems. Now this really is a heavy gate. But I manage it 
in the end. Finally, here's the landing stage. Well, obviously just stopped at the landing stage and went back and closed the gates. So that's that lock done. It's got a lovely um, brick built weir back there. Really beautiful. They certainly used to build things nicely. And uh, I can see the next lock ahead, I think. it's. Um, I know it's not very far, so see you up there. Let's speed things up a bit. Eight times to be precise. Well, this is an interesting looking thing up ahead. I think it's just a road bridge in front of a lock with sort of quite high gates, but uh, it looks like the Tunnel of Doom coming up at it. I cross the road and make my way to the lock. If you look carefully into the archway, you can just see the lock gate opening. Thanks to TV magic, I'm back in no time. A quick push to the bow. And I head under the road bridge. through the brick arch and into the lock it's not as deep as deep lock but it ain't exactly shallow either I'm up top, working the paddles. Soon the boat is rising. Its nose sits safely on the board of the gate. This gate's not too bad actually.
by pulling at the landing stage and go back to close the gates. Before continuing my journey. pushing my luck now. I just went past a really good bit of Arnco where there were some other boats and somewhere to park. But do you know what? I've only done a couple of locks, only been at it 90 minutes. Just think, you know, just go a little bit further. A couple of hours till dusk, should be fine. Well, that bridge behind me is the M4 so I'm quite glad to get that under my belt and I'm going to get as far away from that as I can for hopefully find a nice little spot to moor for the night. A wonderful old disused bridge over both the canal and the river adjacent. Annoyingly, I've got some traffic behind me now. Uh, people at the last lock have caught me up, so I'll get a bit of a move on. Um, I'm really enjoying this, just dawdling along, it's great. Well, I stopped at the landing stage, had a chat to the boat behind and they very kindly offered to do the lock for me. There's a very nice lady up above, about to operate a big heavy gate while I do essentially nothing.
this is a right deep old lock. I feel really terrible actually because the um, folk behind me, they're lovely people and they've uh, offered to do the lock for me, which is really handy because it's um because it is such a deep lock, it's a big old climb out of the lock ladder and one thing and another and it's drizzling as usual. So um, that's really fantastic of them and uh, I think there's a place for me to moor on the Arnco just uh, a few hundred yards up so good stuff. Once out of the lock I continue to make my way through the drizzle. Well now I've stopped I found a lovely straight stretch on the Arnco um, as those uh, nice people in that boat told me and uh, this will definitely do me for a few days because I've got all my supplies on board I had a stock up a few days ago and uh, I'm going to get on with a few little jobs and whatnot but the main thing about being in this spot apart from the fact there's nobody else around it means um, I've got sun all day because there's no overhanging trees or anything like that in the way and uh, that's what I'm looking for so yeah I'm just crack on enjoy myself and get a few bits and pieces done and that's all good see you next time coming up in next week's episode it's raining gone under the M4 again